this morning to get out of town and we saw all the traffic that's been happening and the airports just being jammed as well. Uh, and so we are going to be seeing these impacts sometime overnight tonight once it makes landfall. Now you can see some of this heavy rain is really beginning for areas of southwest Florida and then west central Florida and then moving inland uh, through certain areas through the state. So I'm going to show you exactly what we're looking at. Category four hurricane right now expected to weaken a little more as it makes landfall. Most likely a three, a four is not out of the Thanks question. Good. And Make then sure again, it's going like, to be somewhere subscribe. near the Tampa, Sarasota area that we've been looking at. And this is the cone of uncertainty. And what's going to happen is it's expected to remain hurricane status, even as it treks across the rest of West Central Florida and then moves to the eastern portion and then exits out into the Atlantic and then will continue to weaken from there. Again, this is expected to happen sometime around midnight tonight once it makes landfall there somewhere off the west central coast of Florida. So it's something we're going to continue to keep an eye on, but this could be uh, one of the most destructive hurricanes on record for west central Florida. So this is going to be uh, what they're calling a compound event to have two hurricanes like this back to back in a similar region. And we'll continue to watch it for you deteriorate for those areas of Florida as it does get closer. Closer to home, we don't have too much happening except for some really nice weather that will be in the forecast. In several days, it's still going to be warm. We still have some fog out there to start. Not as bad. High pressure is out to the east of us. It's just south of the Four Corners. And then we have this trough that's to the north of us that's trying to dig down and make its way. And it will, as we get into this weekend, we're going to have a trough that's going to kind of sag across the west. And this is what's going to happen as we head into your Saturday. That's really going to help those temperatures cool off for us as we get into this weekend and beginning of next week. And then that low will move across areas of northern and central California as it exits out. And then it looks like we have another one that's going to come midweek next week. So our temperatures stay warm, but we're going to drop those temperatures off through the remainder of the week into the weekend and all the way into the beginning of next week. Now the marine layer also cool. afternoons. It's going to be a little breezy. Nice temperatures though today with some mid 70s after the cold nights. Next week the overnight lows chilly again. We get back into the 30s this weekend. Highs in the mid 60s about 66 to 67. That's going to be 80s by the weekend. So we're all going to see more fall like weather and even get below average for next week.